In the closing sentence of an influential essay on death, Thomas Nagel writes that it may be that a bad end is in store for us all. Not all philosophers, however, have shared Nagel's, if you like, pessimism about death. The Socrates and Plato's apology, in fact, argue for quite the opposite view. Socrates contends that death is one of two things. Either death is annihilation, in which case being dead is like a dreamless sleep, or death is the migration of the soul to a place where all the deceased reside. Now, Socrates thinks the latter will be a blessing, for, as Socrates says, what would one of you give to keep company with Orpheus and Musius, Hesiod and Homer? On the other hand, if being dead is like a dreamless sleep, Socrates argues this too would be a blessing, or, Socrates explains, if one had to pick out that night during which one slept soundly and did not dream, and consider how many days and nights have been more pleasant than that night, even the great king would find them easy to count. Hence, if death is like this, Socrates says, it is a great advantage, for all eternity would then seem to be no more than a single night. Epicurus also made a significant contribution, arguably one of the most significant contributions, to the subject of death. While Epicurus is far from characterizing death as a blessing, they nevertheless argue that death is nothing at all to fear. Here's the reasoning by which Epicurus arrives at this view. Whatsoever causes no annoyance when it is present causes only a groundless pain in the expectation. Death, therefore, the most awful of evils, is nothing to us, seeing that when we are, death is not come, and when death is come, we are not. Schopenhauer also says, It is in and by itself absurd to regard non-existence as an evil, for every evil, like every good, presupposes existence, indeed even consciousness. But this ceases with life, as well as in sleep. Therefore, the absence of consciousness is well known and familiar to us as a state containing no evil at all. Nevertheless, one could still plausibly argue that the misfortune of death consists not in the condition of being dead, but rather in the loss of something positive, namely life, and that this could be so even if one never became aware of having incurred this loss. This essentially is what Nagel famously argues. But of course, Schopenhauer expressly denies the positive value of life. Thus Schopenhauer writes, the boundless attachment to life cannot have sprung from knowledge and reflection. To these, on the contrary, it appears foolish, for the objective value of life is very uncertain and it remains at least doubtful whether existence is to be preferred to non-existence. In fact, if experience and reflection have their say, non-existence must certainly win. And if Schopenhauer's pessimistic account of life is correct, then it may be that a good end is in store for us all.